At what stage of endometrial cancer is there cervical stromal invasion? Let's review endometrial cancer staging. Beginning with stage one, this is defined by the degree of mitometrial invasion. Stage 1a is less than 50% of invasion, while 1b is greater than 50%, involving the outer half of the myometrium. Some places will do lymph node sampling at stage 1a, and others do lymph node dissection at stage 1b. This is an example of stage 1a endometrial cancer. Sagittal T2-weighted MRI shows distension of the endometrial cavity by an intermediate signal intensity tumor. The middle image is an axial oblique T2-weighted MRI showing the intermediate signal intensity tumor within the hyperintense endometrial cavity. The junctional zone is still well delineated with no evidence of invasion. The image on the right is an axial oblique dynamic contrast enhanced MRI obtained four minutes after the IV injection of contrast. The arrow points at the hypo-enhancing tumor relative to the hyper-enhancing myometrium. This is an example of stage 1b endometrial cancer in an older woman. The image on the left is a sagittal T2 showing large iso to hypo-intense endometrial tumor with poor tumor to myometrium contrast. The axial oblique dynamic contrast the contrast-enhanced axial oblique image on the right shows tumor enhancement with invasion of the outer half of the myometrium. Let's now discuss stage two. Stage two is where there is cervical stromal invasion, as in the initial case shown in this video. This is best evaluated on post-contrast imaging two to three minutes after injection. This will be seen as lack of enhancement in the normal cervical mucosa. Stage 2 changes management from a total abdominal hysterectomy to a radical hysterectomy and pre-op radiation to the cervix. Here's an example of stage 2 endometrial cancer. The sagittal T2 on the left shows endometrial cavity distension by a tumor extending into the cervix, denoted by the arrow. The contrast-enhanced MRI on the right obtained 2 minutes after contrast injection, shows extension of the endometrial tumor into the cervix again. There's invasion of the cervical stroma posteriorly, denoted by the arrow. Let's now talk about stage 3. Stage 3a is invasion of the nexa and or uterine serosa. Stage 3b is invasion of the parametrium and or vagina. And stage 3c is invasion of the pelvic and or paraaortic lymph nodes. This is an example of stage 3b endometrial cancer in an elderly lady. Sagittal T2 on the left shows a large isointense endometrial tumor extending into the upper aspect of the vagina shown by the arrow. On the right is a sagittal diffusion weighted image showing the tumor by the asterisk, which is hyperintense and invading the upper aspect of the vagina. Corresponding sagittal ADC map shows that the tumor is hypointense due to restricted diffusion. This patient had renal failure, preventing the usage of IV contrasts. In spite of this, diffusion-weighted imaging was adequate for disease staging. Last is stage four. In stage 4a, there's invasion of the mucosa of the rectum or bladder. And in stage 4b, there's spread to distant organs or non-regional lymph node stations. Here is stage 4a endometrial cancer. On the left is a sagittal T2 showing a large endometrial tumor invading the sigmoid colon as evidenced by loss of the normal fat plane between the tumor and colon denoted by the arrow. On the right, is a contrast-enhanced MR showing invasion of the sigmoid colon, denoted by the arrows again, by the enhancing tumor, were confirmed at histologic analysis. You now have an overview of the different stages of endometrial cancer. 
please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.